Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to English class. Today we are going to talk about position of adverbs, which is a grammar topic. And by the end of this lesson, you will be able to recognize varying positions of adverbs in a sentence according to uh, their kinds and importance. So to start with, uh, let's first look at different kinds of adverb. As you already are familiar with adverbs, what actually an adverb is? Adverb is a word which modifies a verb, an adjective or another adverb. And we have different kinds of adverbs. We have adverbs of frequency. And adverbs of frequency, they tell us how often, like never, often or often, always, sometimes, rarely, frequently. Okay. Then we have adverbs of manner. They tell us how, just, well, quite, quickly, hardly, carefully, intelligently, honestly, suddenly. Okay. Then we have adverbs of degree. They tell us to what extent, like barely, scarcely, almost, nearly, quite, hardly, and just. Okay. Then we have adverbs of purpose. They tell us why, to avoid, to get, and to remember. These are known as adverbs of purpose. Then we have adverbs of time. They tell us when, afterwards, before, yet, still, today, tomorrow. Okay. Then we have adverbs of place. They tell us where, like outside, upstairs, near, next to, here, there, and everywhere. So these are different kinds of adverbs. Now we'll see how can we arrange different kinds of adverb in, in a sentence. There are no hard and fast rules, but in English language, we have three positions of adverbs. The initial position or the front position, the middle position or the ending position. Okay, We can put adverbs and adverb phrases at the front, in the middle or at the end of a clause. Now, the front position of the adverb is the first item in the clause. Suddenly, I felt afraid. Now, here, suddenly is an adverb and it is in the front position. Yesterday, detectives arrested a man and a woman in connection with the murder. Now, yesterday. Now, see, suddenly was an adverb of manner. Then, yesterday, it is an adverb of time. Yesterday, detectives arrested a man and a woman in connection with the murder. Both are put in the initial position. In the end position of the adverb is the last item in the clause. The ending position is the last item in the clause. Why do you always have to eat so fast? Now see, fast. This is the ending position. And here we have another adverb also, frequency. Adverb of frequency. The mid position is between the subject and the main verb. The mid position is between the subject and the main verb. In the middle of the subject and the main verb. Like after the subject and before the main verb. Now if you look at this one. Apples always taste best. Now see always it sits between the subject apple and verb taste. Okay. So mid position is between the subject and the main verb. Where there is more than one verb. Now, this is very important point that you have to keep in mind. Where there is more than one verb, mid position means after the first auxiliary verb or the helping verb or after the model verb or after a model verb. Okay. The government has occasionally been forced to change its mind. Now, see, has been. Now, here we have two auxiliary verbs, has been and we have position the adverb between both adverb, uh, both verbs okay now has and then we have added up uh, adverb and then the other auxiliary verb okay after the first auxiliary verb you are going to place the adverb if there are more than verb one verb in the sentence so only this point you have to keep in mind if there is 
uh, if there are more than two verbs in a sentence or more than one verb in a sentence, then you have to place the adverb between uh, both the verbs. Okay. You can definitely never predict what will happen after the model verb. Now, see over here, you can definitely never predict what will happen. Okay, see over here. You can definitely never predict what will happen. It, it came after the model verb can and this is the main verb. Okay. We might not even have met after the model verb. Again, it is ever is the uh, adverb and it is placed after might not have. Okay, might not have auxiliary verbs and we have placed the adverb in the middle. In question, mid position is uh, between the subject and the main verb. Now, if you look at this example, do you ever think about living there? Do you ever think? Now, see in the question, it is between the subject and the main verb. Now, here you is the subject and think is the main verb and we have placed or positioned the adverb in the middle. Adverbs usually come after the main verb be except in emphatic clauses. This is a bit tricky, okay? Uh, but with the help of these examples, you'll be able to understand. She's always late for everything. Now, see, she's always late. Now, here, adverbs usually come after the main verb. She's always late. Now, here, is is the main verb. We don't, okay, helping verb is being treated as the main verb and the adverb comes after it, okay? But when B is emphasized, when your helping verb or main verb is being emphasized, the adverbs come before the verb. Now, look at this example. Why should I have gone to see Madonna? I never was a fan of hers. Now, see, never is used over here as an emphatic adverb. So, that's why we have placed it before the helping verb that is B. B means am, is, are, was, were. So, before was, we have used the emphatic adverb. Here is a quick recap about the position of adverbs. Now, as I have told you, adverbs can go in the front position, mid position or the ending position. Now, here we have different examples. Adverbs of frequency in the front position. Sometimes I see him at the supermarket. In the middle position, he always has sandwiches for his lunch. Adverbs of frequency in the ending position, he visits me occasionally. Manners, suddenly the eagle opened its wings. Okay. Then adverbs of manner in the middle position, he slowly backed his car into the garage. And adverbs of manner in the ending position, the horse whisked its tail angrily. Adverbs of time in the or in place in the front position, tomorrow I'm going to Dublin. Next to her, this is an adverb of place. Next to her, I felt like a fraud. Adverbs of time in the middle position, we have already eaten dinner. Adverbs of time in the ending position, journalists will be able to uh, preview the exhibition tomorrow. Then adverbs of satanity. Now, adverbs of satan satanity, usually they come in the front of the sentence, like perhaps, surely, okay, uh, certainly, usually they are placed in the Front position. Perhaps he's not coming in the end. Surely he'll arrive on time. And middle position is we are obviously going to need more help. And bring the boxes here. Adverb of place in the ending position. Okay. And adverbs of degree, I can hardly believe. Now see after the model verb and before the main verb. So when you have the model verb, auxiliary verb, and the main verb. The adverb goes in the middle, okay, after the auxiliary verb or the model verb and before the main verb. So, this was all about the position of adverbs. So, hopefully, you would have understood today's lesson. Thank you so much for listening. Have a good day.